I can send it out to everybody. So um, first of all, uh, looking forward to a wonderful 2019. Um, I think it's going to be a growth year, and I think the people are in a really good spot um, to just maximize their business. Um, thank you to all of you that are coming to um, the, uh, the retreat. I think it's going to be really awesome. Um, we've got, I think, about uh, 90 people coming, so it would be really good. Wow. Yeah, um, and uh, so... We're going to be working, in fact, that's a call I have today as well, um, with, the, with the administrators of that meeting. So, um, so one of the things I'd like to do is have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with each of you. And I want you to think about what your goals are for 2019 and um, areas that you feel strong about in your business and areas that you feel you need help in, okay? Um, what are some things, and really think about it over the next week if you want, um, because yeah, I think it'll be really important for our conversation. And um, I know many of you um, really want to grow your businesses with um, people and with your titles and see people doing that. So um, I am going to uh, do a series of um, calls this year. Um, remember that little chat that we had, the coffee chat, that we, or idea exchange that we had? Um, but what I want to do this year is I want to actually um, give you a coffee talk to listen to that we can talk about and then implement it, you know, and really challenge ourselves to implement what we um, heard on that half hour call. Those trainings are really amazing if you're not, does, it, does, does anybody go get on Saturdays and Saturday morning and listen to the coffee talk? Yeah, once in a while. Once in a while, okay. So those are some amazing um, leaders that are sharing uh, what they're doing to build their businesses large and strong. Um, so I am going to be picking out certain ones and you and your teams, uh, you can feel free to add your team onto this call um, when I do it also. And we'll just discuss what's going on, unless there's something huge that we can't help but discuss, okay, <laughs> going on. Um, but, uh, but I think it'll be good to tap into different people's methods and their, their way of doing business that they're succeeding, okay? It's a half an hour. You can listen to it um, anytime during the week, and then we'll discuss it, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out doing this every other week, all right? I'm going to try that and see how many of you engage with it. Um, but I, I, I think it's a short enough call, and then um, I'll, I'll do uh, recognition as well as... Um, we can discuss anything that you guys have going on, too. Um, if you've got an idea that's working, we want to give you time to share that and, um, and to shine. Because together, team, we, together, everyone achieves more. And I really think that, um, that I want to create a culture that uh, I take responsibility of not creating these past few years um, just due to Due to life, I'm, I'm just going to say that, due to life. But you know what? I'm in a really, um, I feel like I'm ready to move forward uh, in life and in um, just really digging in and figuring out some things that I haven't figured out in the way of virtual. <laughs> There's so many different ways to do this thing. <laughs> I, was, um, I was with Linda McGuire um, from uh, Marie Friday's team. Um, the 17th of December, and she was sharing squealy. Is that how you say it? Squee. Squee? Squee? Okay. She was sharing squee with me, and I thought it was a really interesting um, platform um, and the way she's doing it, uh, the way they're doing it, and that you're able to share on there differently than you are with, the, um, with Facebook. Um, what she did was she they made a Facebook group that people could invite their guests to, and then they would give them the link to go 
to the actual party. And what was really neat about this, I guess there's 170 Pampered Chef consultants involved with Squee. And people, anyone that has created a one hour outline um, is sharing it. Because there's, there's no issue with the, uh, with the Facebook jail or anything like that because it's not, the actual party is not being held on Facebook. It's a one hour, um, uh, one hour party and it's almost like a, my Alexa is, is talking to me here. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's like a one hour PowerPoint with videos embedded into it. And um, it's, it's, now it's $20 a month for the tools that you can use it as much as you want. Has anybody actually tried Squee? Okay, Sarah, what's your opinion? How do you, what do you think? Um, well, there are a couple of things. Number one, the biggest challenge that I'm facing right now is getting people to understand how Squee works. But I love, 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 love what we can do with Squee. I love that you can, you can list. It takes a little while to set things up, which is why it's nice to be able to share the timelines um, among consultants. And so that's really nice. They call them timelines instead of outlines. Anyway. Okay. Um, and so because we're set up by time. And okay. Anyway, um, but I like that you can you can put in certain products in there, and they could create a wish list, and so they can actually go back and look at that. And, with the game. and you can choose. And somebody might need to mute their microphone. Yeah, um, I think it's Laura. Um, yeah. can, you, can you mute your microphone, please? Thank you. Go ahead, Sarah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, but. Anyway, lost my, let me think a second here. What was I saying? Um, the timelines. Timelines. Yeah, yeah. No, I lost where I was going. But anyway, so you set it up, but it's like, it's like Facebook in that there's a conversation. It's like a live show in that if they come in at a certain point, they don't get to see what happened beforehand until the show ends. And then they can go back and see the entire outline. However, they can't as they they can't click on a slide and it brings up the conversation that is with that slide. So they're not going to coincide, but because it's a slideshow is what it is. It's a timed slideshow, and you can speed it up or you can make it. You can make a slide last a little bit longer. So there's really uh -huh. a lot of things you can even um, create a a live YouTube to feed through that thing. But what I I just I just really really like how that works. What we what I've learned and what you'll see from other people talking about it is, it's can be on a computer versus a mobile device and I had a husband and wife do it side by side they that was um, it's getting better and then also people people want to see us they right. want to see they love the videos from home office but they want to see us right and so that's so my next challenge is to actually practice one where I have learned how to sync the YouTube um, and, and actually get on and do that it won't be hard but there is a bit of a delay so there are some challenges that they're improving some things with Squee. We would love for there to be a voiceover so that we could be able to then speak instead of just typing stuff in because that was confusing for people that not hearing us talk. I'm like, well, if you're used to Facebook, then you weren't talking on there unless we did a live anyway. So it's just, it's the learning curve. And some people are having really great results with that. I have not personally had, um, I love it. It's just a matter of educating people. Okay, good, so, good. Yeah, um, I love the fact that everybody won't have to make up every outline themselves. And I also like the fact that it doesn't ever go out of order um, compared to the Facebook component. When, when somebody makes a comment, that goes to the top of the page. You know what I mean? So if you try to go back, it's not in order in any way, right? Right. Yeah. What, what are you laughing about, Sarah? I'm Kim. <laughs> I, I hear you. <laughs> oh, it's Kim. It's not Laura. It's Kim. Can y'all hear me chewing? Oh, no. Sorry, I'll mute it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm hungry. It's noon here. <laughs> it's snowing. It was just it was just funny to hear it for your microphone to work that well. For me to hear you crunching. So. The new computer. Plus I've I've got him him hanging around. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, Merry Christmas. How you doing? 
Good. Are you like um, something from Harry and David? Is that what's so good? No, no, no. This is y'all don't make chicks mix. Oh, like oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like Christmas crack around here. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Christmas crack. Okay. Has anybody else? Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for uh, jumping in on that. I appreciate it. Has anybody else used Squee? Okay. It's um, so it's it's an option. It's an option. Um, the other thing is I wanted to ask, um, has anyone used the Zoom platform for doing a show? Because, I mean, you could literally do a show. I know Kim and I did a live show on her Facebook that one time when we got snowed in. Um, and that was pretty successful, except that the people were really sad they weren't there to eat the, the food with us. Do you remember that, Kim? Yeah. going. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> so is the is the trend now going for one hour parties versus like post for like three day parties or whatever? So I, what are we kind of going to? Well, this, well yeah, um, I, I wouldn't say it's a trend, Kim. I'm just saying some people really feel like the one hour captures people for an hour. And they do it, they can go back. You see if people are on there or when they leave. And what's mm -hmm. nice is the chat involved is really um, great because it's, it's real time. So, um, uh, and I, I believe other people see other people's conversation too. So, okay. um, but um, I, I, I don't know that it's the trend. I'm just saying it's an option. It's an option. Okay. Um, although it, to me, if you're going to do it at 20 bucks a month, you're going to, you're going to commit to that. You know, we don't want to be committed to four different platforms, you know? Um, so, um, so anyway, it's, it's just an option that I wanted to bring to you guys. I just heard about it. She showed me all of it on, uh, you know, on her computer, and it looked pretty interesting. Uh, there's only a seven-day trial, okay? There's only a seven-day trial also. Uh, there's not a 30-day trial like Sinshare. So, um, but the fact that you're not using the Post My Part, I mean, you're not using Facebook eliminates when they change all the rules, and there's absolutely no problem getting people to engage. That's the other thing, Be uh, because it's not a matter of them not seeing the notifications. They're, they're either on or they're not, you know. Okay. So it's just um, getting them. You're using Facebook to, to draw the people to. To tell them about yeah. it. So, to, right. so the couple days before and a couple days after, all right. Okay. Um, okay. But there's no, there's not any issues with the actual Facebook um, party because it, you know how some people weren't getting notified unless the the um, host really engaged, You're, right? Am, am I right about this? Is that what you were experiencing? And that's why people were experiencing less sales where there won't be any of that with this because it's an actual, it's a link. Uh, they, they don't have to download um, anything. It's a link on the internet. Okay. So go to your browser and you click on the link, kind of like you would Zoom. But with Zoom, you have to download Zoom first. This is just a link. So okay. it just goes there. So um, oh. anyway. Go ahead, okay. Sarah. Did you just say something? The beauty of Squee, yeah, the beauty of Squee is that they don't have to have a Facebook account. Um, right. and like, like Nancy Joe was saying, I mean, there, it just depends on what your personal style is. Some people love the seven day, 10 day, five day, whatever, three day, whatever format they like that works for them. Yeah. Uh, posting three times a day, posting 20 times a day. It's just what works best for them. Um, some people like zoom. I like zoom because then I can see their faces. Right. And, and, and if they ask a question, I don't have to be like, what did they say? You know, looking at the print on my camera or whatever, or trying to see and being able to interact. So the interaction is more real. Um, and Squee, Squee is, the advantage to Squee is you don't have the Facebook distractions. You also have access to people who don't have Facebook because there is a growing number of younger people who right. don't have Facebook. I'm in the schools all the time and the kids are like, 
Um, it, it's a smaller number of kids that use Facebook and, and you know, they're going to be our customers within the next five to eight years. And yep. if they're not on Facebook, Facebook is not going to be a good platform. Right. Not unless they say, well, I'm old enough now. I'm on Facebook now. I don't know. Yeah. They yeah. Business, so they do a business on Facebook like everybody else does. Right. So, um, so it takes, takes, um, you know, no Facebook distractions. Anybody can use it and there's no downloads. Right. Right. Okay. And, and it doesn't put things out of order either. I think, I think exactly. that's, that's really nice. It's 45 minutes. People, um, people watch, you know, a program, a food show for 45 minutes. Um, and you can put the express party link on there. Mm -hmm. And so they can just go in and, ex and put their order in really easy. Um, so it's a, I think there's some some advantages. I, I just uh, I'm I think the price is unfortunate, um, but but if you use it enough and what like Linda does is she does three shows. She'll do a um, six o'clock, seven o'clock, and eight o'clock show on one night. All right, she'll run three on one night. So, but she's live on those three shows. Okay, you don't run them simultaneously. But um, but she does it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then does her live shows on Friday or Saturday. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. She chooses two, and she's really running a great business uh, doing that because um, it's it's very engaging. It's for an hour, and if people miss it, they can go back and see it, you know, and experience it. But um, but it doesn't go out of order, which I I really like that because. It's like, um, and I, I don't think, are people playing games on there as much, Sarah? I don't think they're doing that as much, are they? Not like a Facebook, like a three to five day Facebook thing, but um, it's, you, oh, that's what I was going to say. There are a couple of that interactive things you can include, like a spin the wheel. You can do that too. It can be a game thing. You can give a prize for that, or you can have it just be an interactive thing. Like, uh, are you a great cook? Yes, you are. Blue, and some confetti comes out. Or yeah, they have an eight ball. Don't they have an eight ball? Yeah. Something like that. And a the spin the so there, are, there are two things that they can actually right there in the moment, click the screen, tap the screen, whatever, and get an instant gratification of woohoo for whatever. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a prize thing. It could, it could be if you want to, you could be like, hey, you get a dollar off your, cook, your order. Um, you get a free season's best cookbook. You get uh, whatever. Okay. And so you could do, you could give away gifts like that. And depending on what your show averages are, that might be something that you want to do. So. Right. And what's nice about the express party, you can turn around because they're not checking out immediately. You can mm -hmm. add that onto their order and put it on as a consultant gift. With yeah. that. Or if you're like me and you're direct ship now, I don't use the direct, I haven't used express party for that kind of stuff. Cause it, it, it anyway. Um, and so I have just added things that I could mail. Okay. A nylon pan scraper, uh, um, a season's best cookbook. Sometimes sure. it's got a discount. Uh, okay. a discount if they, so, you know, if you book a party, um, you know, it says uh, $10 additional free when you book a, and whatever date for whatever month. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys and make sure you're aware. Um, and then, um, so, what? Yes. Yes. The person who's doing the three hour sh the three in a row hour shows, uh -huh. she's doing a demo each hour. Well, no, she um, she's actually got yeah. it all set up like a PowerPoint. Okay, it's so fine. it's strictly strictly PowerPoint. Right, and then she has some um, okay. individual videos that have her live, okay. not live, okay. but uh, YouTube videos that she uses over and over again. Got it. So she's just live um, commenting mm -hmm. to the different okay. people and the different comments. Some people, one gal that I know goes live in the, in the event on Squee with, through a YouTube live link. And okay. it's, it's not hard to set up. I just not have practiced it to feel like, oh, I got this super comfortable with it. <laughs> and they'll do like their top 10. Okay. Talk about their top 10 products or, you know, if they're doing a specific theme, they mm -hmm. might have the slides to go with the recipes, like from the, from the virtual themes. I've done that before. And the, the, the challenge with Squee is that you want to keep, because the, the chat 
line, the, the conversation line doesn't keep time with the slides when somebody you it later is um, you don't want to have, you've got to have enough explanation in the slide so that the person isn't trying to go, I have no idea what this conversation goes. So it's easy to follow through the slideshow and get the gist of it without having to see the conversation. Does that make gotcha. sense? Yep. Yep. Anyway, so, but no, I know consultants who are going live in it okay. through the YouTube nice. and, and they're not doing an actual cooking demo. If they do, they might do something super simple like a potato. Cause, mm, yeah. but no, I, okay, good. But I, I have a question. So in order to use the express party checkout, it, you have to put it in as a live cooking show. So is that skewing all of the, you know, numbers that we get from, from home office on party sales and cooking show sales, or do some people, are some people have access? Well, I, to I think that the, you know, That's direct ship now is, is skewing things and stuff like that. So, yeah. It is. um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. People who have, people who have direct ship now are doing more with the express party checkout with those kind of parties. Um, and and taking them, turning them all into like because of the control of being able to do the gifts, right? Cetera, which is about direction. Gone, now, so. Yeah, which is why I've gone to gifts that are mailable, yeah. like a best cookbook, like a nylon pan scraper, or something super simple like that. Could even be a five dollar gift certificate for them to redeem, you know, on their next at order. their next order. Yeah, sure. Or at their show, I mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, absolutely. Good, 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 good. So what else are you guys doing for January? Let's talk January and um, is everybody using the holiday letters? Are you, how are you contacting your, uh, your host right now? Tell us what you're doing. Oh, sure. I, 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 my calendar for January is pretty bare. So I'm, um, I'm a bad girl and I'm working on my taxes from 2016 right now. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Before well, I'm thrown in the slammer. <laughs> okay. Good Get idea. There, take a couple hours, book okay. January so you have the money to pay. <laughs> I always get money back, so it's not a matter of payment. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you'll still want to have some money in January. <laughs> Good. Good, good, good. All right. Anybody else? Um, what do you, what do you, what are you guys doing? What are you cooking at your January shows? Um, it just depends on the show. I, I'm okay. doing some keto recipes. So, okay. And I'm, I'm getting more requests for people to have keto recipes at their parties. And there are some pamper chef recipes that I've been able to tweak and make keto. Okay. So tell us about those, um, Sarah. Um, well, like the pronto pasta and sausage skillet, it's really simple. You just use zucchini chunks, which you can plank with this quick slice and then turn them and, and plank them again. So as you create, or if you have the French fry cutter at home and you're cooking for yourself, use the French fry cutter. <laughs> okay. But, but you can create that shape like a penne pasta type shape and use a zucchini instead of the pasta. I make my own low sugar marinara sauce by using two cans of tomato paste and add the oil. I don't add any water to it because the zucchini gives off enough moisture during the cook time. So there's the water there, my Thai seasoning, my garlic, um, a whole block of cream cheese, a whole block of mozzarella cheese. And that's the simple, simple tweaks on that one. So you're cutting up, you're reducing the sugar, you're reducing the pasta, or you're cutting up the pasta. I have found a recipe for a crust. So I have taught recipes like the beef taco ring with a keto approved crust. I've, I've done the turkey cranberry wreath. Now there are some more things involved in that one because I had to make my own sweet and dried cranberries, craisins. Okay. Buying the, the sugar loaded ones at the store. And um, so I've done some different things like that. And the biggest, most popular one and the easiest one that people like is the uh, pronto pasta and sausage skillet. And I can do it in the microwave or on the stovetop or in the quick cooker. Awesome, awesome. So. Great, great. Just a little bit of, and there's there's other recipes that I can do, but I've taken some Pamper Chef ones and tweaked them. So so a lot of keto stuff because people are looking for ways that they can still eat yummy, delicious food without um, sacrificing flavor. Okay, awesome, awesome. What else are you guys doing? So I'll go. Um, <laughs> So um, I'm using the 
the host coaching letters. Um, those have been working really well. Um, also, using does anybody use this to host his coach with? Host coach, uh, host coach tracking. monthly tracker, the monthly tracker. It works really, really well. Um, and I'm just able to, to use it just to keep myself, you know, kind of organized and trying to teach my team to use it too. Um, if you've got a lot of shows, you know, it's hard to manage sometimes, you know, if I mailed the host packet, have I done the first question <laughs> call? You know, I, I use a lot of text, um, bit emojis that I send, um, pictures of recipes, um, just to chat it up with them once a week. Nice. You know, so um, I do that. So what I'm going to focus on for January, the new marketing imagery um, section for the, the virtual and live parties, that new year, new you. Uh-huh. Yep. A lot of good a lot of good stuff in there. There's some salads. There's ways to tweak dressing so your salads aren't boring. Um, and I'm also going to do um, a little healthy pizza, a grilled pizza in the grill pan. So nice. it's going to be kind of a pizza and salad kind of class. Good. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm doing one of my shows has got a, I'm going to do a pizza in the grill pan, a pizza on, uh, on the rock in the rock crock on the grill because I'm going to be in Florida and and then a pizza on our stone in the oven it's a couple mm -hmm. show and I'm going to have um, some different pizzas made um, then I'm going to do the one grill um, in the grill pan I'm going to make it a salad pizza so mm -hmm. they're all excited about that but yeah the new the new year new you kind of theme is is pretty cool with all the different it's just that basic dressing recipe and then you change it up for like an Asian flavor or whatever. So it's pretty, mm -hmm. it's pretty that's some good stuff that we can share with people, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Has anybody tried the superfood salad? Yeah. It's very good. Not yet, but I'll print it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Just uh just just saying. Um and then I'm going to do, a, a, actually, I'm going to do a fajitas. One of my um, groups wanted, wants to do a fajita show. And um, I'm going to do, use the grill pan for some of the chicken and then the quick cooker for some of the chicken. So um, show them the different ways and the different tastes of, um, of that. So trying to do something fun. And then the the um, gentleman, it's another couple show, and the gentleman is actually making um, the dessert. So I've told, I put on the actual invitation, and you're not going to want to miss Cliff's dessert because <laughs> he's famous for his dessert. So I said, well, you make dessert ahead of time, and uh, and I'll make the main entree. So um, I have three couple shows coming up. So. Um, uh, so it's it's going to be really fun um, having the guys there because we all know that the guys the guys buy a lot. So mm -hmm. what else are you guys doing? Thanks, Kim, for sharing. I appreciate that. I don't know what's going on with my video, but you can hear me now. I can. Yes. Okay. So I don't really even talk recipes until they get a head count. Okay. Um, I just say we're doing new year, new you, we'll find out something fun. My big thing right now is I ask them to send me a picture of their kitchen so I see where I'm going to be working mm -hmm. and then kind of figure out if the grill pan works in their area, is the quick cooker going to work? And then I ask what tool is on your wish list that we can showcase at your party. Yep. And that way I'm still doing the, you know, salsa chicken and the quick cooker, mm -hmm. you know, very basic things, but it really just highlights the tool that they want the most. So it's Good. more about the tool than the recipe. And we just kind of, you know, figure out something fun and throw in like a lava cake. Awesome. 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 And, and one of my um, hosts is named Rita. So we're doing a Rita show, margaritas and fajitas. Nice. <laughs> she really liked that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She really liked that. Thanks, Laura. That's a good idea to see for head count. Um, I know the one girl is inviting her whole neighborhood block, and she said she's it's they have huge parties. So, and it'll be like I said outside in Florida. So we'll see. 
it's it's I says I have three shows in uh, ten days, so <laughs> it's like the old days, right? <laughs> so, how about anybody else want to share what you're doing? I usually keep it just pretty boring. Um, I set up my recipes beginning of the season. I choose the ones that I think are going to work. And I usually carry that through the whole season. Um, I may tweak it up now with the new January um, salad bowl mm -hmm. thing, um, but more probably just a, a verbal demo rather than actually doing something unless the host wants to, you know, highlight it a little bit more. But I, I try and just get it all done all at once and carry that through for six months. Okay. Awesome. Seems, to, seems to work. Yeah. And if people want a really fast, easy um, add-on, um, people, you can use the crinkle cutter with uh, a cauliflower, head of cauliflower, and roast that with some olive oil and our one of our seasonings, either the Greek, Italian, or lemon rosemary, and um, just roast it right on the rock, uh, crack grill or the stone. Um, I, uh, everybody is loving the taste of it. It's super easy, healthy, and it's a nice add-on. And, um, and so I, I recommend um, if they want one more thing, you know, a head of cauliflower is pretty darn cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's a super easy, I mean, I, my family never ate cauliflower or, or uh, Brussels sprouts before I roasted up. Now they eat it all the time. So, um, in fact, one Christmas, I may have told you guys the story, but I had it on Christmas Day and I had um, my daughter-in-law's uh, dad and his wife and there was about 16 of us around the table and I made everybody take one half, you know, I had cut the Brussels sprouts in half and roasted them and it made everybody take one piece of Brussels sprout that they had to try it, kids and all. And um, I said, otherwise, there's no desserts. <laughs> no desserts being served. And everybody but two of them loved it. And in fact, he called me for the recipe. He says, you know, I have to tell you, I didn't eat Brussels sprouts all my life. And he goes, and now I'm dying for those Brussels sprouts again. <laughs> Can I have the recipe? So it's fun to introduce people to new things. Um, and and to just healthy you know healthy so um but with the new crinkle cutter um it it'll really work nice with with the uh head of brus uh, head of uh, cauliflower um the other thing is has have you tried that um have you tried the salad bowl yet anybody i need to watch, need to watch the video again okay I'm just going to market that for people who have to work and take their salad to lunch. There you go. I, it's not going to be something I will personally use. So. All right. Nobody's used it yet? No? Okay. Um, when you do, use it at home first because it takes a little practice, okay? And also don't overfill it. Hmm. Okay? Like when I did the super salad at Marie's, um, we went live and it was, uh, I had it filled too much. So, um, it's always good to show people how you don't have to be poly perfect. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Go ahead, Sarah. Just a side note. Cause I happen to jump on Facebook. Um, we, I just saw a post that solution center tech support will not be open on new year's Eve. Okay. So there will be no nothing on month end. So we might need to let our teams know about that. Um, oh, you mean if they want to send something in, there won't be any? If they have problems. They have a problem. There will be right. nobody there to support that on New Year's Eve. All right. You're in. Yeah. Well, and we won't be either. We'll all be partying with our friends and family, right? <laughs> so yes. do it on the 30th, darn it. <laughs> right, I know. But I do recall one year, the year that of 2011, when I earned the Mediterranean cruise for 2012, I was working up till midnight. That's how I rang in the New Year. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we should probably, well, if they just put that out to everybody, hopefully, hopefully people will read it. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Th those people deserve a night off too, right? Oh, I totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. 
absolutely. absolutely. Just to be aware. So we're yeah. not calling and going, <gasps> where yeah. are we? And yeah. all the panic stuff with that. Yeah, because they're usually there through the night and on the are, on the month on month in. Yeah. Good. Good to know. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, what else? We have five minutes left. What else are you guys doing or excited about for the new year? What are you doing with your people? I made a vision board. Did you? Let's see it. First time ever. Really? And it's on a real board. And it's on a real, oh, cool. <laughs> I had my husband do this one for me. So um, there's my goal. It's actually going to be more than that as far as monthly income. And then I want to travel doing mission trips like one a year. And so I just have a picture of the world, but I also picture of Australia because we'd really like to go specifically to Australia anyway. And then what do I have here? Oh, um, what's want to be what's called a living link missionary support. Basically that means that if y'all are familiar with missionaries, they usually have to raise money from a lot of different places. Um, depends on which church organization they're with. And so in, in our denomination, that means they do a lot of traveling when they come back to the United States to visit because they're touching base with churches. And I'd like to be one of them, what's called a living link, which means the major support comes from one church or an individual or whatever. So that's what I want to do. And then I have some Ziegler, Zig Ziglar um, quotes around here, but I also want to have a room that's an actual fitness, my fitness equipment room instead of scattered throughout the house. My word so far that I know of for 2019 is bold. So I just mm -hmm. added that on the board. And then I want to have an actual laundry room, not a laundry hallway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to have a basement in a house. I want to be able to get manicures at least once a month and not think, oh, yes, I'm spending that much money on it. And I would like to have somebody who would clean my house at least once a month, which would be regular clean, more regular than what I do sometimes. Um, I want to in, in, um, eventually get a mid-sized car. That'll replace the, of course, my car is only a year old, so I bought it knowing I would have it for 10 years. Oh, and I want to have a basement in a house. And I'd like to have a porch similar to this. Nice. And then one thing I've thought about also is, um, it's kind of out there on my horizon, is training to be a nutritional therapy practitioner. Wow. So Very oh, awesome. And to have the funds to be able to gift like crazy and not be thinking about the limitations of income. Okay. So that's All my right. vision board. There you go. I like the way you think. I do too. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. hmm? Which way? K. Kay. Kay's saying I like the way you think. I know, but how so? Ex clarify that. To earn to give. Oh, okay. It's just, I, I love to give, but I, I want to be able to give, I guess, hmm? recklessly yeah. without having to think this is what I have to spend. And so I want it to be the most power for the punch. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's got to be really practical because I'm not throwing my money away on something that's just going to collect dust someplace. Do your research. That's yep. how I like to give. And so, um, and so I, I agonize over that. But if I did, if I had more funds giving me a little bit more unlimited ability, and it's not just gifting, it's also being able to freely give when there's a need. Oh, you like somebody in the church has, um, needs, has a car breakdown and has to have repairs and, and we, and I can be a bigger part of giving for that so anyway that's awesome sarah that's awesome love yeah. it yay that's that's great that's great so 20 years of business and i finally do a vision board there you go <laughs> <laughs> how many how many of the rest of you have a vision board anybody i challenge you <laughs> yeah there you go all right. I have Here one. Yeah. I have Sherry, Sherry, um, Sherry. This is one I did, I don't know, probably 15 years ago. And it, it just says, get your finances on the right path, saving for retirement. Um, one of my big things was to have my children graduate with no debt. Awesome. And, um, I have very highly educated children. They're both still back in school. One's working on his MD, PhD. And one is going for a second master's, but they have zero debt. So I have definitely Woo! that's and a gap. Travel, so um, lots of travel, 
And then um, my final little quote down here, which I just think is awesome, it says, um, I will be able to maintain our standard of living and have enough left over to leave something behind for our children. So it's really important to me that my children don't struggle in life um, financially or otherwise. So I help them as much as I can. Nice, nice. Okay, from Nancy. Nancy, you want to share with us? Can you uh, unmute here? It, um, All our video, one or the other. Does yeah. Not have access? Do you not have access on your video? Oh, she's typing. Uh, well, typing. and, and she, she just wrote that we did one in um, LEAD, because in LEAD we had to do a vision board of like what we wanted our business to look like. So it had our little people and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So those of you that were in LEAD, do you feel like you've kept those practices up? <laughs> I, 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 personally, I think I, um, I'm not doing everything, you know, I haven't, haven't kept up with everything. Um, but it definitely impacted my business um, for the long long term. Okay. And by the way, Nancy says that she kept up some, but not all of what she learned in LEAD. Okay. Uh, I don't know that I do it as consistently, but I do keep in mind the practice of the goal of getting the next month all booked by the 15th of the, previous, of the current month. Mm -hmm. Good. Because it does Good. feel better to go into the second half of the month knowing I'm scheduled for the next month. You're scheduled, yeah. Or at least almost fully scheduled. Instead of getting to the last of December and thinking, I only have two shows on January. You know, I'm not there. I, I'm, I'm more full than that. But um, That's awesome. That's big thing. Mm -hmm. I think what it does prove to you is eight shows a month is not that big a deal. Mm -hmm. Right. And that if you're doing eight, it's not that big a deal to add two either. That used to be like oh gosh i don't know how people do that but you know when you get in the rhythm of doing it it's not that hard well and nine shows is actually still two shows a week because there's 31 30 to 31 days so those two to three extra days if you're doing them twice a week there there's another group of days that you should be doing one show you know or a meeting you know so well you know, yeah well, and I mean, you know, I, I submit at least eight or more, but I book more than that because mm -hmm. I know, you know, they're going to cancel or something's going to reschedule. So, I mean, you got to build it in. So that was not working towards minimums. Yes. Yes. So I think it's just a mindset. The practice of um, audible, listening to books, reading 10 pages of a good book every day, you know, just some of the basic things. Yeah. Have stuck with me. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm going to do the freedom journal. Has anybody ever heard of that? It's a yes. hundred, well, hundred one, days. I, Pardon yeah. me. I have one and I kind of started it, but didn't really. All right, Sarah, I'm starting on the first. Do it with me. <laughs> do it with me. It's uh, let me go grab it really quick. Talk I'll about you guys for a minute. <clears throat> go to my bedroom to get it. <laughs> so I think I got to day four. Ooh. Um, and this was, well, in July 2017 is the last time I wrote in this. So tell us the concept. What What is the concept? Okay. What it is, is you write um, in the morning and you write at night. So like, I'm on, we'll start on day five. <laughs> Day five at the top says, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. That's a Zig Ziglar quote. Um, and then you write on there, it has a space where you write, I am grateful for, write in your thing, in 95 days, because it's 100 days. So in 95 days, 
My hundred is way past from when I started. I will blah, 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 whatever it is you're going to do. Um, and then, uh, like I will, um, in this case, the example, they give you a sample day, what you would write in there. As mm -hmm. far as in there and then um, my number one focus today is and you fill that in and then to get closer to my goal today I will and there's a you write in a couple of things there by the end of today I will have accomplished and there's a place for three things in there action plan for the day write that down thoughts ideas musings whatever jot that in there and then they have some recommended resources um, in there and then at, at night you write two wonderful things that happened today hmm. I struggled with and you write those in there Possible solutions for these struggles, a couple of ideas there. Tomorrow will be a great day because, a little paragraph you can write there, thoughts, ideas, musings, another little blurb there, and final thought of the day. And, and so the idea is that as you're writing this stuff down, that in 100 days, you will have reached um, something. And they do it, they call them sprints. So they might like a 10 day sprint of doing stuff. And I only made it to day four. <laughs> <laughs> but you did four days, okay? I did yeah, four days. That way. Back in July. I used to listen to the guy who did the book on podcast. And I actually need to dust the book off. Yeah. I already have mine packed, so um, so I can't I can't show thank you, Sarah, for showing it. But what but prompted you, Nancy Joe, to do it? Uh, Donna McDonald and Kevin McDonald did it, and they said it was really, really amazing for them. Um, awesome. I just, I, in, in a way, they just, they said that, you know, they started their day with devotionals and, um, and exercise and things that they wanted to accomplish before their workday began. So mm -hmm. they, they, and they felt like um, by doing good um, practices, best practices for daily things. It was changing them, and they said that they did it together. I mean, I, I'm I'm not doing it with anybody, but um, but they just said it really gave uh, it opened them up to what was super important to them. It really showed them what was really important, and and it decluttered their minds on what was taking up time. One of the things that I'm doing more so, um, having connected with somebody else and some, some things that I've read and listening, I actually read a book called The Magic of Thinking Big. Oh, okay. And really, it's not my copy, it's somebody else's copy, but they had loaned that to me. And one of the things that it's talked about in here and in other books is having think time, where you're just allowing the is, I do it before I go to bed. And I just sit in my sometimes in my closet because it's it's a small walk-in closet, but I can still sit in there on the floor. And the cat loves to sit in there with me anyway. And I I set my timer for 25 minutes, and I find that I can I'm getting now where I'm not checking every five minutes, but I can actually it may be 15 minutes. And I go oh it's already been like 15 minutes. Oh wow you know, mm -hmm. um, but I can just sit there and think and what they're what. Have you guys heard anything about this as far as just think time, anybody? Mm -hmm. what, what they see is that people who employ that um, are able to come up with solutions for things a lot faster because they're allowing the brain to stop going crazy over everything. And when the, we, have a, we have a wonderful, powerful tool mm -hmm. That we don't use and we overload it with stuff and we don't allow it to actually think and work through situations and solutions. And so that's the whole idea of that. And I think the Freedom Journal is probably a lot like that. Um, I've done Dana Wilde's Train Your Brain 10 Minutes Before Bedtime, where you write what you're thankful for. Um, so. Awesome. Anyway. Good, 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 good. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Um, I, I'm wanting to start a whole new practice, getting up early, exercising, doing my journal, doing my devotions, and just two to three hours before I start work. So we'll see how good that goes. It's good I'll be on the East Coast because it's an hour ahead. <laughs>
<laughs> so, so getting up at seven o'clock or six o'clock is really like seven for at home. So, uh, so I should be able to do that. But um, before we end here, because I do have another call next, um, I want to do some recognition. Um, let's see. Kay, your team did $10,000 in sales for the month. Great job with an overall team of 161000 um, Laura Teal, 6637 in personal sales with a new recruit. And your team did... Uh, your overall team did 32,000. Good job, Laura. Oh. Woohoo! Let's see, Kim Gant, $6,092 in personal sales with two new recruits, and your team did 23,000. Nice job, Kim. And then we have, uh, let's see, there's Nancy. Nancy had $863 with her team doing 3,000. So I'm sure that you're working on wrapping that up, Nance. Um, Sarah, $3,961, and your team did $10,796, and you had two new recruits. Woohoo! Wow, good. good job. Sherry, you're at $2,183 for personal sales with a new recruit, and your team is at $4,555, I'm sure. You'll wrap that up very soon. Um, let's see, Lisa, I don't think Lisa Bailey is on here, is she? Lisa had $10,974 in sales and her team did $22,985. And what a, she, she is really, her team has really turned around. Uh, Lisa used to do the bulk of her team sales. Um, I mean, like where her team sales would be 12,000 when she did 10,000. And it's really changed and uh, really excited for her. She's got a couple of go-getters and uh, it's really changed for her. So, um, and then we have Glenda. Hold on one second, let me find Glenda. Where is Glenda here? Here, Glenda Richmeyer, $4,547 in personal sales, and her team did $57,935. Nice job. Nice job. Woohoo! Woohoo! Let me see if I got everybody. Amy Sue, Amy Sue, hold on. Amy Sue. I wanted to do some December recognition. Here we go. Amy Sue had $3,397 in personal sales. Good job, Amy Sue. Woohoo! Nice December. Did I get everybody? I think I got everybody. Did, did I miss anybody? Okay. All right. Good. Um, well, I'm really, really uh, looking forward to uh, seeing everyone March 1st. We're going to have a great retreat in the, um, in the mountains of Tennessee. We've been there once before. Hopefully the weather will be better. <laughs> um, but uh, really looking forward to that and to um, growing together this year. Um, I'm going to be doing, like I said, a lot of emphasis on recruiting and promoting directors and re-promoting directors. Um, so um, I want to encourage you guys to join in on those calls. You and your teams are more than welcome. If you want me to speak on any of your um, teams um, meetings, feel free to ask and um, I will do my best to do that. Okay. So um, thanks for sharing you guys. I appreciate it. And um, look for that email where we can set up a phone appointment for a one-on-one. -on -one, okay. Sound good? Awesome. All right. All right. Class, you have a great, safe new year. 2019 is going to be awesome. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Jeff. You are welcome.